All right, so this video is for everyone who is under 30 years old. This video is for everyone who is lost, confused and absolutely clueless about his life as a whole. See, if you are a young man and if you are confused about your life, if you are confused about your future, if you are confused and distracted about every other decisions you are about to make in your life, today's episode is going to help you a lot with it. Four stupid, four most common yet four highly neglected distractions that I wouldn't want you to make in your 20s if you are a young man watching this video. Gentlemen, my name is Bhangwad Acharya. This is Life Essentials. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so first thing first, before I start the video, a quick update. There has been some delays with TMA Basics and Boston. There has been some back-end problems with our shipping and logistics. We are working on it. It will probably take us 7 or 8 days to fix it. But rest assured, all your orders are going to ship in the next 7 to 8 days. So apologies for the delay. I just thought I should update you all. In case you haven't noticed, in case you haven't gotten an update via SMS, phone call or in your email, this is just a humble reminder to let you know that all your TMA Basics and Boston orders are delayed by 7 or 8 days. Are back end is facing some problem a logistical partner is facing some problem that should be resolved in seven or eight days and your orders will ship and you will get your fantastic basics and beautiful boston at the very earliest anyway let's get back to the video okay so the very first distraction a man especially a man must avoid in his 20s is falling in for a serious committed or somewhat of a filmy relationship a serious companionship relationship or this love interest with the opposite sex yes i do think this is a problem yes i do think this is a distraction for many young men out there who are trying to seek true love and find someone absolutely well worth their life in their 20s well i think they should be focusing on something else something bigger and better now you know this is ironic coming from me coming from a guy who is a social dynamics coach or who is someone who actually teaches men how to be good at relationships how to approach how to talk how to date and all of it yes this is coming from a man who is actually pro social dynamics pro dating that you should every young man must and should avoid any form of a serious relationship in his 20s because you as a man aren't built or wired like a woman you as a man must and must be effective and efficient to contribute your well worth to the society at all the fair events. So this may not apply to women because their life goals and their processes of emotions and logic is a bit different for men, especially for young men. I have seen men getting so distracted with serious relationships that they have almost ruined themselves in the process because that is very common in companionship. That is very common when you are seeking a romantic interest with the opposite sex. There will be some fights, there will be some quarrels, there will be some disagreements and it will be a distraction. If you have something well worth to contribute to your society, if you want to be financially free, happy and clear mentally, 30s could be a better age for you to date, mingle and probably get into a serious relationship. See, if you really want to date, if you really want to marry, if you really want to get into a serious relationship, Come to our TMB Evolve Boot Camps once you are done with your 20s. Maybe when you are in your late 20s or early 30s. That is a much better and that will always be a much better place for you to start seeking something serious long term. Now I'm not telling you to not to seek something casual. I'm not saying you to not to talk to women at all. I'm not telling you to do any of that. That's where my social dynamics background come in. I do want you to see women. I do want you to meet women. But I don't want you to fall for anyone seriously when you're in your 20s because all this bollywood hollywood drama all these love at first sight story comes with a lot of baggage and a whole lot of distractions associated with it you can't afford distractions at this point in time in your life hell i don't even think one should marry till the time they are in their mid 30s but that could be a very tough pill to solve but at least postpone anything serious till the time you are in your late 20s or preferably 30s. Once you are in your 30s, give me a call, come to TMB Worlds Bootcamp. I'll make sure you get a girlfriend, I'll make sure you get a wife, I'll make sure you get a fiance, I'll make sure you get the best woman you deserve in your life. But till then, you have to first make your life well worth it. Distraction number two, I see most men suffer from. Distraction number two, I see most men make in their 20s. This is a very recent distraction and that is the social media you see internet is a beautiful tool internet is a very empowering tool social media however is not 
especially when you are a consumer and not a creator or a producer of the internet if you are someone who's creating content if you are someone who's making businesses out of the social media sure it could be a very great way for you to make a living and have a prosperous life but if you are someone who's consuming content on a daily basis if you are someone who's watching these 60 second clips and 12 minute vlogs just to be entertained and thrilled about life then boy you are missing out on life in general you are missing out on living life in general there are so many things you could physically do to yourself then just sit down and waste your 15 minutes half an hour or even four hours on youtube netflix and all these social media platforms if you are a creator producer at it fantastic if you are a consumer that's something i'm totally against it now there are a few good content creators there are a few great 60 second clip makers who are actually adding value to your life who are actually pushing you to become your best self in your lives but it's very difficult to find those creators and very many people don't even like to watch such creators because they are just plain boring or they are just not entertaining or fun gentlemen if you are in your 20s it's better advice if you skip the part of fun there are a lot of things you must do and you should be focusing on if you want to live a financially free a clear focused and a very happy life once you do this once you are in that headspace once you don't have any distractions of social media once you aren't feeling insecure and incompetent about yourself once you aren't getting jealous by anyone on this fear then it is a good time for you to be on social media but most men and women these days do get insecure they do feel incompetent they do feel that they aren't doing anything in their life because they see all these so-called influencers and actors and whatnot being everywhere that they could not and trying to fake an imposter life which they don't even live on their daily basis i do not want you to fall for this trap i do not want you to fall for this distracted tool if you want to use social media become a creator at it become a producer of it don't become a consumer of such entertaining content which does no good to you but just gives you the stimulus pump that will probably last for five minutes and then you'll get back to wasting more time at it third most distracting thing that i see most men suffer from this is the biggest distraction i see most men suffer from or i see most men consciously choose to suffer from is money no not the money you think but quick money or figuring out easy ways to make a lot of money gentlemen if you're in your 20s and if you're from india this is a mighty tool this is a granted tool you should be very happy you should be very empowered by it because we are a developing country the kind of money we have here is absolutely crazy you just have to be focused and you just have to be aware to find out what the market needs and build these skills for it see there was a point in time when the only way to become financially free or so-called ultra rich was to become a corrupt politician and do some ghotalas and scams and probably make a shit ton of money doing it now does it not happen these days sure it does but the ratio of it happening these days are fairly more difficult and rare why well because there are better and smarter ways to make a lot more money at a given point in time no no i'm not saying that these scams and these ghotalas aren't there in the system anymore especially in countries like ours in countries like russia and countries like uk this socialist corruption was always a part of the deal and this has sadly been a part of our system as well but now there are actual better smarter ways to do it so the chances of people becoming a corrupt bureaucrat or a corrupt politician is dropping by really really fast you see there was a reason why everyone wanted to become an is officer an ifs officer or an ips officer in the past right no it wasn't because they really wanted to be a police officer or an administrative officer some of them simply wanted to be so because they wanted to make a lot of corrupt money but nowadays people are joining upsc because they really want to serve the country they really want to become a police officer they really want to serve the foreign service they really want to become a nice bureaucrat of the country that's the beauty that's the change we are seeing in the country so you don't really have to become a corrupt politician to make a lot of money you can actually use the market to give you a lot of money especially if you live in a country like ours especially if you live in any developing country or any developed country in the world you are living in a free market economy now what does this free market economy means well it just means that the market is absolutely free for everyone and anyone to trade in so if you have the skill or if you have the product or if you have an idea which can help the community which can help the market essentially which can help the people of your local neighborhood or your country live a better life they will pay you money for it now you have to figure out ways that can help people live a better life and they'll be willing to pay you money for it all the recent indian unicorns that you see nike licious zerodha they're all doing that they're all doing that in some way or the other but you can't do it in your 20s these take 
टाइम एंड यू हैव टू पुट इन द टाइम इन योर ट्वेंटी सो दैट वेन यू आर इन योर थर्टीज यू आर रेडी टू फाइंड आउट द पेन पॉइंट इन द मार्केट यू आर रेडी टू कम अप विद अ प्रॉब्लम और यू आर रेडी टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स एट हैंड विद द स्किल दैट यू हैव लर्न और एक्यूमुलेटेड इन दीज ट्वेल्व थर्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ योर लाइफ फ्रॉम एटीन टू थर्टी ईयर्स ओल्ड सो दैट यू कैन हेल्प द मार्केट यू कैन हेल्प द कंट्री यू कैन हेल्प द कम्युनिटी ऑफ पीपल बिकम बेटर एंड लिव अ हैप्पी लाइफ एंड दे बी विलिंग टू पे यू बोट लोड्स ऑफ कैश for it so don't run for money in your 20s if you keep running for money in your 20s you'll end up skipping up the skills that is needed for you to make exponential money in your 30s and 40s you can't make that much money in your 20s you are not zuckerberg that is a rare breed he just was lucky enough to find that one trick that is not going to happen with the majority 99.99% of population but it can happen to 10% 20% of population in their 30s once they spend those 10 15 years of their 20s to figuring out and learning a skill developing some ideas and mastering their own natural strength which they are very good at which they can probably give back to the market and make money from it. 20s not the age for you to run after money 20s is the age for you to learn to gain the skill to figure out ways that you can add more value to the society so that when you are in your 30s you make that product you make that service you give that service you share your skill and the market will pay you money for it but i last and probably one of the most subtle but one of the most nuanced distractions i see most men don't talk about all that often especially in the month of november and december is no fab and masturbation yes sex porn or masturbation now i see a lot of men being confused and in disbelief about the fact that they don't have sex but they masturbate 100 times a day so it should be totally fine no that's not the case both of it affects your brain quite similarly in the long run both of these things affect your brain quite similarly and i do not want you to get affected by these things quite severely you see sex and masturbation is a very organic natural thing to happen this is a very natural thing to happen i do not want you to stress about it i do not want you to overthink it and i do not want you to be addicted to it since these things are very primal just like food water air and money it could become very addictive very fast and once it does then you'll just not be able to focus you'll just not be able to give your time and energy to the things that actually needs it the most gentlemen all the physical things in life when done in moderation serves you well they keep you happy they keep you sane they keep you productive they keep you healthy and they keep you young for a very long time same applies to your fitness your workouts your sex and your relationships your romance as well but these things are very physical these things are very tangible once you become addicted or once you start overdoing it they can start affecting you negatively in no given point in time i don't want you to be addicted to it i want you to find the balance i want you to control i want you to have some sort of discipline all the freedom and liberty in this world without any discipline and control can cause all the chaos and havoc and we are seeing all the chaos and havoc because today's young men don't really have the control the conscious control or the self discipline these two tools if you can master some controlled consciousness and if you can master some self discipline none of these things are going to affect you negatively ever in your life you are going to enjoy it for what it is you are going to appreciate it for what it is you are going to be grateful for how it is and you'll end up doing better and greater things in life four distractions that i think every man must avoid in their 20s. I hope this helps. I hope this video was well worth it. I mean, in case you don't agree with me, in case you have anything new to add, don't forget to write down your thoughts in the comment section box down below. I'll read them. I'll reply them. I'll probably be your internet friend. Meanwhile, yes, don't forget to check out Teamy Basics as well. Our fantastic new shirts, T-shirts, and our Boston shoes are now online. Most of your pre-ordered Boston shoes are already in the making. We should have it as promised by the first week of December, so you can expect it by 10th or 15th of December. That's fantastic news. But that being said, that being clear, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was well worth your time. My name is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Jai Hind. Take care.